Welcome to episode 66 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hulk Air Shirts and today we're going to take a look at the 2016 Away Shirt. So this is the 2016 Away Shirts Talking Shirts debut. We've not actually covered the 2016 shirt before, uh, well the Away one anyway. So what we shall do now is we will give it the Talking Shirts treatment. So as you can see, the 2016 Away Shirt is an all navy shirt with quite a bit of gold detailing. We've got a gold cuff on the collar up here. We've got gold cuffs on the sleeve. And then we have got this very high breasted band going across the front of the shirt. So we have seen somewhere they've been sort of middle height. We've seen somewhere they've been low, if you think to the, the 2022 home shirt. But on this occasion, it was a very, very high band that was going right across the top of the breast there. And then just underneath that, we have got 10 gold lines which loop all the way around the shirt, and those are to signify the 10 years that Hulk AR was in the Super League from 2007 through to 2016. Little did we know when this shirt was produced that at the end of the 2016 season, that would be the end of Hulk AR's Super League journey for the time being, um, as they did get relegated down to the Championship. Now, some people believe that this shirt was a little bit of a jinx, other people maybe don't. But for me, I just think we need to take it for what it is. It's just one of those things. Um, we wore this shirt on 10 occasions during that 2016 season. Um, we did only win in it twice. So that's a 20% win record. Um, but that is quite a, a consistent thing, really, when it comes to um, Hulk KR and their away shirts. Back to the shirt now. So it was designed and manufactured by Fita. And it was our final year with those guys. We did move into the, the X-Blades Elite Pro Sports branding for 2017. So this was their last away share offering. We have got the, the Club Crest um, and all of the sponsorships on here. Um, AC Enviro, Malcolm West, Fortlifts and Brian Alford have all been dye sublimated into the shirt. We have got these the grip patches that we are accustomed to seeing now. These ones are very different. Normally you see them going across the chest, but these ones are actually more sort of down the side. They're across this centre part of the chest here where you would kind of expect the ball to hit. There's nothing there. It's, uh, it's just down these, these side panels here. So again, I've, I've kind of questioned the, uh, the effectiveness of those in the past. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, do that again here. Um, now we'll take a look at the side here. So let's just spin that round. <clears throat> We have got the, the Kingston Press Cider heat applied patch on this sleeve here. This has got quite a bit of colour wear to it. Uh, these are actually a lot brighter when originally applied. So this is kind of a good telltale sign for me that this shirt has possibly been worn. And uh, most definitely been washed a few times because this has, has faded. Um, and there's also a nice line going through the middle here, which you should be able to make out on the picture that I put up. And that's that seam under here. Because when the heat apply these, they don't put anything in between the sleeve to um, to stop anything underneath transferring through so anything that's underneath you will see appear here and as you can see there we have got this uh, this nice line going through the middle where the seam is underneath this part of the arm here and having a look at the other sleeve and now you will find the competition patch this is the first utility super league patch this one is in fairly good nick compared to the kingston press cider one on the other sleeve it doesn't seem to have had that much sort of damage to it. There is a little bit of a marking in the T of utility, um, which you should be able to make out on the picture I put up. And also there's a crease in it here. Much harder to see any sort of physical imprint into the into the patch, but there is a little bit of a lip, but you can see where it kind of rides up a little bit. And once again, that's because of this seam under here. Obviously, we've got these lovely gold cuffs, which just add to the design elements of the shirt. So now as I turn this round to the back, you can see that this was worn during that 2016 season by centre Ian Thornley. Um, so Thornley played 30 games for Hull KR during the 2016 season. And in that time, he scored 12 tries. Um, Thornley has played for, for quite a few different Super League clubs. Um, he currently finds himself at the Wigan Warriors. Um, he is he is injured at the moment. It was a bit of a shock to me when they took him back on for the 2022 season, but it was a great move for, for Ian as he's found himself with a 2022 Challenge Cup winner's medal um, in his collection. 
So yeah, he's uh, he's had a he's had probably quite a good strong Super League career, um, although he did drop down to the Championship for a little while. Um, on the back of here, everything once again is die sublimated apart from the name and the number. So we've got the joinery depot sponsor up here. We've got the Archbishop at Centimo, and then we've got HCUK training down the bottom. Thornley 4 has been heat applied as you would expect. Um, there is some little bits of markings on the back of here, which are kind of good telltale signs that it has probably been worn. However, I am yet to be able to photo match this shirt to a known game, but I will get round to doing that at some point. Um, I've had a 2016 away shirt in my collection for a while, but it wasn't uh, a match worn shirt and it wasn't from a player who played regular games during that 2016 season, which is why I have not covered it until now. Um, obviously, I picked up this Thornley one in the last couple of months and uh, with it having quite a low squad number and Thornley being a regular appearance maker during that 2016 season, it was a really, yeah, a really good addition into my collection. Um, I didn't have one of Ian's shirts in, in my collection from his, from his season at Rovers. So yes, really pleased to add this one uh, into the collection. Um, just a little bit of a look at the, the number four here. You can see that we've got this Super League logo um, in yellow stroke gold. Um, again, just another nice little tie-in with the other sort of design elements of the shirt. That will have been more pure look than any sort of uh, design, design implication on the shirt. It was just something that obviously worked out quite well. And then on here, we've got this the GPS tracker. So you might be able to make it out from the back, but I'll pop some pictures up for you so you can see it from the inside and from the outside to give you that little bit of a look, obviously, of what these GPS trackers look like. But if you are a regular watcher of Talking Shirts, you will have seen many, many, many of these um, on the various past episodes. So that's, uh, that's been everything on this episode of Talking Shirts. Number 66, getting through them now. Um, yeah. So, as I said, this is the first time we've covered the, the 2016 away shirt. I, I really like it. I think it looks it looks really classy. It's got a really good, sleek, clean design. We, we've used the navy and gold design in the past. You think back to 2007 and 2008, two seasons where we did feature with, uh, with gold and navy as the two prominent colours on an away shirt. And you can even think now, obviously, in 2022, We've gone with gold. We have gone with more of a, a dark sort of bottle green and gold opposed to a, a navy for the 2022 Boilermaker shirt. However, it's still a really, really good colour combination to work off the back of. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Talking Shirts. I'll be back in another two weeks with episode 67, where I'll take a look at a shirt worn by the mercurial halfback, Mikey Lewis. Bye for now.